we're going to discuss about how you're gonna lazy load a child component for the component which is also lazy loaded and we're also going to discuss about how you're gonna transfer data between a parent component and the child component in case of lazily loaded component. So let's start the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. And in the last video, we saw about how to lazy load a component in Angular 9. And if you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch that one. I will link it in the card because this video will not be make sense if you have if you don't know how to lazy load a component in Angular 9. So first we'll see how to lazy load a child component for which the uh, parent is also lazy loaded. Means here for in our example, we lazy load the lazy component A here. So we are loading this component lazily. So lazy loading of a child component is not that different from a normal lazy loading component. But what you will do here, after your child is loaded, you will try to lazy load it again. So what we'll do it, we'll load this lazy load component on the on in it, you can do it as in the a method trigger also. So for that, first thing first, we need a component, okay? So you can see a component got created same as uh, the parent means the lazy component A without any selector and it will not be get added to the declaration because you know we are lazily loading it. So what I will do is I will just go to the app component and try to copy some code because the same thing, same kind of thing we are going to use but I will show you another way you can lazy load the component. In the case of like if you remember the second case we discussed in the previous video so in between to component or in between two fields you need to you want to load a component then uh, for that we have another way and that I will discuss with you today. So this you already know what it is and uh, how it's working. So I just explain you again. So what we are doing here is we are importing the our child component here and you are in the view content reference we are creating the component. So I will go ahead and sub the component here. Now we'll go to the browser and we'll see. Okay, so I will just open the console here and go to the network tab. And just a little bit bigger this one so when I hit load you'll, you'll see that we got two files here the our child component and our component by using import you can import inside a method or when it's required but if you are doing it in, on on in it suppose you are lazy loading a component which child is required and the on in it itself then you can directly import that uh, component without importing it dynamically like uh, I'm doing it here means normal import I just import this but here it will work same but there's a small tweak here you will not get two JavaScript file because it's already imported in your component A so it's normal basic logic so when I hit load you got uh, the both the file but you got only the parent as load because you already imported it but if you are doing the dynamic import then you will get both the files go for the dynamic import if you are loading it from a condition basis like with like in the previous method on click a button while loading if you are doing on on, on in it then go for the static import so this is one way to add in the bottom of the parent okay so here if you can see we have added the parent is this one so it's got added here so now we'll see how to lazy load the child component or any component that matters in between the two fields what we saw in the previous video but it's in a different way we have import the component and as, as that's a promise and we used our uh, ng component outlet and gave a async pipe to render that one so here we will use and it will be remain same it's not that different but here you will use our view child option so i'll write a child component the catch here is 
in the view child we you give the child component type but as is lazy loaded so what we will going to give is the view container reference okay we will give this as a decorator of view child and with the uh, name of child and this will be the id in our html and here we'll read it as a view container reference okay we need this id to be in our component here so what i will do i will just try to load this one child component before our parent means above the parent content and this will be child and one more catch is here this is easy also so instead of using this view reference we are going to use this one we will first go to the browser okay so we'll try to load so you can see lazy child works came first then the lazy component a big due to we have added in the beginning of the lazy component a html so what i mean is so if you are using view child you can replace this import okay now we'll see how you're gonna pass data between components in case of lazy loaded so if you remember the previous methods like uh, previous method means the normal if you have normal parent child relationship in a component then you can pass the data in certain manner that is uh, some of them will be using services using input output and using view child so the services will be remain same so i will just show you that right now so you have created a service so what i will do i will just uh, have a data and that it will be a string here on the parent component on the load of the component we'll just uh, so we have to inject the data service here also so what we'll do is we'll just use this data service here we can now directly use this data in our child like as normal so i'm i'm just showing you here so we'll go to the child constructor so we have added the data service here to the show you so i will start the application again so we'll go to the browser now and when i try to load the component we can you can see that we got the data transfer from our data service to the component and it's normal so what i just want to show you is the dependency injection of any services or any third party provider will work same in the lazy loaded component as well so now we'll see how we're gonna assign some value of the child in the by using view child method so we'll just go to the child i'll just have a data so here i will create a child component just for a reference lazy child lazy child component and here from the reference we can assign this dot child component equals to reference dot instance so uh, what you are getting is we are getting the instance of the child component and in that now it's became same if you just check the uh, return type and it is child component child lazy child component so it's now become the normal view child reference so uh, what i mean to say is here we have view container reference and from the view content reference we got the instance of the child so now you can just go ahead and hit child child component dot data and that you can assign to any value suppose uh, i'll assign so my name and so i will add here p tag and so the data will come from the your child I mean the child parent means your lazy component a so when we'll go to the browser i'll just try to refresh and you will got the data now we'll see how we're gonna get the data back from the child uh, by using the view child reference okay so uh, what i'm going to show you now is not only not depend on the lazy loading part but this can be used in lazy loading so we'll go to the child component i will show you now with the emitter but you can use 
a subject you can use a behavior subject async subject any kind of subject to uh, do the same but if you want a uh, proper output kind of uh, structure then uh, it's better to use event emitter so it's type of event emitter and will give as a new event emitter okay so uh, what we'll do is on we'll create a method like uh, emit and inside that what we'll do is uh, we'll just emit uh, so it's normal like a output input output in the output how you emit like that you emit uh, the value and we need to call this method from somewhere so what i will do i will go to the child component here i will create a button again and that button name will be emit on click of the button will call the method emit so now we'll come back to the parent component and as you have already the reference of the child so here child component dot emitter and dot subscribe will why we are not okay that is some problem here so it is something internal emitter we have emitter okay so Vija studio just imported the wrong code like from the event we need the emitter from the angular core and for that we need a data for now we'll just uh, write that as a string and that will i think that will handle the thing now we can subscribe subscribe the event I means subscribe the emitter here you can just pass a observable like you normally doing or you can just pass the method it is always be true so you can just pass the method to execute with the data so we'll just go to the browser now when i hit the load and when i hit the emit you get the data when I keep on hitting the emit you just uh, get the data again and again and you can unsubscribe the emitter on the destroy of the components and now what I want to show you is like I told you that we need the ng component outlet for some reasons okay so you can pass a injector so we can create an injector I can pass the data by using ng component outlet injector the benefit is that if you need the data to be passed on the creation of the lazy load component just pass the data and forget the data you don't need to uh, create a service you don't need to inject that in multiple places that the service and uh, if the benefit is only one instance will be created and give it to the child component so the demerit is that suppose you if you if you want a, that kind of data like uh, if you change in the parent it will be changed in the uh, child that will not going to work here so what i did here is i have created an injector so again you have to inject the injector in the constructor of the component so here is our app component and while creating an injector we have given a provider name and which is our child component and we have given a use value which is our data and now we can like you can say the parent is the injector and this is our injector so which we are going to use now we'll go to the ng template and here we can pass ng component outlet injector okay and you can put the injector here so as you created the injector and you have given it to the ng component outlet injector so if you see the provider we given a name as a child component or you can give any name and here we have to inject that provider so the provider if you remember we are given a name as a child component which i already shown you and we'll just uh, do inject and the name of the provider is our child component and we'll give the data so i'm just keeping the name same everywhere and we can assign this input data to the injected data okay so now we can use this input data in our component so if you save everything now we'll go to the browser and just keep an eye 
can see and the input data is some data and some data we are sending from the parent so that's it for today guys today we saw how we're gonna lazy load the child component in various way and we saw a new way to lazy load the component in between some data and all by using view child reference means view child and it will be a type of view uh, container reference and we saw how you're gonna pass the data in between components so please like the video if you are liking till now and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss videos like this and please share this video among your friends family colleague and if you are liking my work and you want to support me you can support me on the patreon i will give the link in the description below we're going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye